Hey Swaggy Swan family, hope everybody's doing good. I'm gonna show you how to moisturize your baby's hair. Are the exact four products that I use to do this process, black Jamaican castor oil, a medicine dropper for measurements, a washcloth, and I prefer a rat tail comb. You can use comb of your choice as well as an oil of your choice, but if you haven't seen my other videos, you should look at them about the benefits of Jamaican black castor oil and hair growth and how it stimulates and moisturizes the hair. So I put my daughter in a boppy um, and I just wait till she kind of falls asleep after I rock her in the rocking chair and this position that she's laying in is the most convenient to me when I'm going to do this process so I recommend you get your child in a comfortable position first step is to take the old medicine dropper again an old medicine dropper not one that you are intending to use ever again only specifically for this purpose I like that it has the 0 0.3 and 0 0.6 milliliter gauge because I don't like to loosely put black Jamaican castor oil in my hand it just makes it much easier to gauge how much I'm putting in there so I fill it 2.3 or 0.6 and I start to part her here now I am specifically looking for dry skin um, if your child has cradle cap if your child has dry skin the Jamaican black castor oil is a perfect remedy to help moisturize the hair and to get rid of this problem so as you can see here you have some flaking there cradle cap dry skin whatever whoever calls it but you have an issue and you clearly need to moisturize the scalp so I go ahead and I'm gonna fill my dropper up in this process, um, you want to be tedious because the point of using the dropper is to just really, again, have control about how much of the oil you're putting in the hair. Keep in mind, this is an infant, not an adult. There's no need for you to put an excessive amount of oil in their hair, and I stress that. So, as you can see here, I have some in there, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to part each section as I'm doing so, and I'm going to start to kind of release the oil slowly and dab at the scalp as well and then when i do that i rub it in with my fingers that allows it to get to surrounding areas and i use the end of the rat tail comb also to rub it in that's why i prefer to use a rat tail comb and i'm going to continue to part different sections and again lightly apply the oil and if you look at the dropper there's still a significant amount left all you do need is 0.3 or 0.6 and you can get through a baby's whole head with this amount and once I'm done pretty much putting it all throughout her hair, I'll take the comb and I'll run the comb through it. You can visibly see the difference. The hair looks more moisturized. It does not look dry. And this is a good way to just kind of use the comb and check. Make sure there aren't any areas that you missed and need to go back and re-moisturize with the Jamaican black castor oil. So this is me taking my time and again, just running the comb through to make sure there aren't any areas I missed. Another thing to point out is the benefits of the Jamaican black castor oil, like I stated in a previous video. It really does work as a great home remedy. It stimulates growth. It's known to allow blood circulation to the scalp. It's also known to help get rid of any bacteria or fungal infections of the scalp. So you guys can definitely do your research on Jamaican black castor oil and you can see for yourself the benefits and why it's okay to use in baby's hair. And again, I have experience using this. I used it in my son's hair. I'm now using it in my daughter's hair and it did stimulate growth and it was a great tool for moisturizing. And also if your child is dealing with cradle cap and you catch it um, quickly enough or dry scalp, whatever you call it, you can go ahead and use this tool. One of the last steps I do is I take that washcloth or baby rag and I was just wipe through with a damp cloth in the hair and that's just to make sure that I've gotten any possible flakes of dandruff or if your child has cradle cap, you know you want to definitely remove the flakes of cradle cap and the backed up stuff so you just want to use a washcloth to make sure you're doing that. The oil has also helped my daughter's hair texture to remain the same around her whole head. There's no difference in the back from the side and I think it's useful for that as well um, for those who had questions about that and as you can see here at the end of the process she's completely unbothered she's still sleeping it is a gentle process it's not meant to be rough and, and it can be pretty soothing for the baby so I'm just showing you here how moisturized her hair looks by the time that I'm finished if you have any other questions please comment below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and what kind of videos do you guys want to see from the swaggy swans please list in the comment section and I will try to do those and lastly don't forget your baby satin bonnet which protects their hair thanks and take care